Well, while we wait on James Hardy, it's episode 638, Pro South. It's the Gold Rush. I am Matthias Darkthorn, and I am joined by a very special guest tonight, Cameron Keast, the father figure of the kids of Keast. How are you doing? I'm great. Thanks for having me. As always, it's great to be a part of the Pro South commentation station. Yay! There we go. All right, we can get going now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Pro South Wrestling live at the Piedmont Palace and live on YouTube. And you are here for Gold Rush. Pretty sure it's Pro South Palace, but whatever. But first... The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the YouTube Championship Unification Match! The unification is an interesting term, but... Uh, it's a generous term, to say the least. Negatively, of course, for those not who haven't caught up, Negative Lee on Plus this week found the old YouTube Championship. Of course, flanked by the biggest man alive since 99, Big Dave. Negative Lee found a championship with no holders, so he claimed it for himself. That's free real estate. And he couldn't wait to be a fighting champion. And has graciously offered the new, the holder of the brand new YouTube Championship, Sean Christopher, a chance to unify the two titles. What a man. Well, negatively is nothing is not generous. So Sean Christopher defended the old YouTube championship and won, I guess if you want to call it that, the new YouTube championship against Big Dave last week. Will he be defending... Will he hold on to the YouTube Championship this week? Or will BDSM take both titles home? Well, if I know Sean Christopher as well as I think I might, he's not going to let that YouTube Championship go without a fight. He went through hell to get it, and he'll keep going through hell to keep it. scheduled for one fall at the YouTube Championship Unification Match. Introducing to my left, 
He is the old YouTube Championship champion. <laughs> Here to come to the ringside with his BSM partner, Sick 99 Big Day. He is the old YouTube Champion. The real YouTube Champion, Negative Lee. The old YouTube Championship Champion. He said. As said by James Hardy. That's a man of the man of words. Man of words. He talks so, for a living. He so many, to many so many words. By the vampire Batty Ravenna Bane. He is the new YouTube champion. The king of the dead, Sean Christopher. Your official for this contest, Reverend Kelly King. The battle of the old versus the new. The old YouTube championship versus the new YouTube championship. Just handing them straight back to Ravenna Vane. So she's got both of them now. Okay, these titles are already unified. But and for those that didn't fall asleep during James Hardy talking for 30 minutes, we now have a YouTube championship match. Big Dave going over and grabbing the old title. Make sure they're one in each corner now. Now we're underway. John Christopher just pummeling negatively. Sean was not wasting any time doing the typical wrestling at the beginning. He went straight for the strikes. Of course. I mentioned it last week during his match with Big Dave. I'd be surprised if he's super uh, focused on this match with all the shenanigans going on with Nathan Mallory, the Kill Billy. Well, as you of can late. see, I think all it's done is make Sean that much more aggressive. He didn't do anything like he usually did uh, when the match starts. He went straight to the aggressive side, went straight on the attack with the striking. It's not something we see from Sean too often. It's hard to blame. Oh, driving straight, driving straight into the barricade. Speaking of driving people into stuff, only a few weeks, about a month back. However long, it, however long ago it was. Oh, hold on, Big Day trying to get uh -oh. involved here. Cut me off. I was say, speaking of driving people into things, referee's gonna have to keep Ravina Bain out of this. There's only. Not that long ago that Nathan Mallory, the Kill Billy, drove a car right into Sean Christopher. Just when you think that things couldn't get any more violent between the two. Nathan Mallory's first night here, I stood feet from him as he dug skewers into Sean's head and shoved him into the post. And the next time we see him is him unveiling that he's going to run him down. And then held a hacksaw to the heads of both Sean Christopher and Ravana Vane. I mentioned that Sean would go through hell to keep the YouTube championship, but it just so happens that he just had to go through hell anyway. Oh, picks him up and drives him back down on the back of the neck. Negatively is taking advantage of Sean's lack of focus. Lack of focus and the numbers game. But fighting from underneath is not somewhere Sean is not exactly comfortable with. He's used to having to fight from underneath. Christopher is notorious for being difficult to keep down. Sean Christopher is very hard to keep down. It's almost impossible. Negative lead, really testing the patience of the ref here. Doesn't want to get disqualified. Lose his old YouTube championship championship. Three point stance, eating a boot from Sean. Oh! Big knees off the top.
done enough for Sean to give him some distance, to give him some time to catch his breath and regroup. See Ravenna giving words of encouragement to Sean. Big Dave doing the same for his guy. A flying forearm. Big kick to the face. And to the back of the head. The rolls, double whammy. Rolls him through. Another kick for his trouble. Got him stacked up. Almost. Only a two. Sean Christopher is approaching triple digits. 98 days is YouTube champion. Is he going to make it to 99? Or is it 699? Negative Dave would also just like to see Dave day eight of his, so. Oh. oh! He didn't exactly get as much of it as he wanted, but did he get enough? I don't think it matters. Oh, Big Dave in there with the save. You gotta hand it to Big Dave. He saw an opportunity to save his man and he took it. What's the point of having friends if they're not gonna help you? Absolutely. Close out faithful. Asking the referee to throw him out. Referee only catching Ravenna, trying to prevent Big Dave from inter interfering any further. I'm not sure if the refs detected one time Big Dave has interfered. Uh oh. Got him hooked. He saw this. Oh! Planted him right on the top of his head. Do we have a new champion? Oh my oh. God. We were close to one of the biggest upsets I think we probably would have seen in a while. Oh, the straps are coming down. Nothing good ever followed the straps coming down. Sean is in for a world of hurt. Negative leaves measuring him. Oh, he, Goozle. Sean not going for it. Oh, kick the leg out from the Oh! Spin kick. Wait a minute. Big Dave bullying Ravenna from the outside here. Just pie face Ravenna. Ref, the ref has got to do something about Ravenna. Every time he looks, she's getting involved. Referee ejecting Ravenna Vane. Meanwhile, Big Dave. Meanwhile, in the ring here. Oh, oh! Clocked him with the old YouTube with the championship. Old YouTube championship. That one's probably heavier. I think it hurts more. We, we might have a new YouTube champion. Oh, only two. Ref Ravenna has still not gotten out of here. Ravenna's still at ringside, looking like she's about to have a heart attack. To be fair, she is holding the championship that Negative Lee would be taking possession of had he won. But oh, it's, he said it's over. He's going to the top rope. He's at Brett's rope. Oh! Christopher cutting him off. Crashing and burning. Christopher seems to have got a second win. Big Dave back up. Now yeah. the ref has finally caught it, and now he understands why we're going to be getting involved. Ready. 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 So we have a new the change YouTube champion and, and a new old YouTube true. champion. YouTube champion. He's on the There we go. New old. New old. Well, how does this work? He's just the YouTube champion. At the end of the day, Sean Christopher retains the YouTube championship. He never stopped fighting. He never gave up. He kept his eye on the ball long enough. But you know that Nathan Mowry is in his head, rent free. And it showed. Kill Billy, where are you? Where do you, go? Do you want to come?
you want to jump me from behind? Uh-oh. What we got here? John Christopher, I bet you're about sick and tired of seeing my face by now. You're probably wondering why I've been stalking and harassing you for the past couple of months. And honestly, I just like it. I like watching you suffer. I like watching you be uncomfortable and knowing that you're looking over your shoulders. I like getting inside of your head, Sean. It's a fun place to be. But there was something about the match that we had a few months ago where I took those wooden barbecue skewers and I drove them deep into your head and I threw you against the post and I watched them split off as a puddle of blood formed on the ground and that made me feel alive. It made me want more, Sean. I love the scent of your sweet blood. And that was not enough for me. In fact, when I left I met a man and he told me, Kill Billy, I love your work. I love what you do. And I'm going to present you with the opportunity of a lifetime. But all I have to do is get rid of Sean Christopher. Not just from Pro South, but from life in general. You see, the last time that I came down to Pro South and I ran in that ring and me and Bombshell revealed our identities and I took that goat mask off and I laid you and Ravenna out. I pulled out this hacksaw and I felt the air in the room be sucked out. I watched children ugly cry and scream and they begged me, Nathan, please don't cut our hero. Don't cut Sean. And it made me laugh. It made me happy to know that I had that kind of power over you. <laughs> In fact, some people were so offended that they called the authorities, but I was long gone by the time they showed up. But when I put this hacksaw to your pretty little fiance's head, it made me think what would happen if I started to hack and to slash and to bust her open and let her bleed out on the floor. Oh, you don't like that thought, do you, Sean? That makes you a little bit uncomfortable, doesn't it? Oh, am I pissing you off, Sean? Do you want to get rid of me? Do you want to get rid of the kill Billy, Sean, huh? Am I in your head? Am I in your soul? Then I want to give you the opportunity of a lifetime, Sean. If you want to get rid of me once and for all, then I challenge you to a fight on July 21st. And this is not going to be any regular match, no. This will be a death pit match. Now, I'm, I'm sure you're curious what a death pit match is. <laughs> but you don't need to worry about that right now. All you need to know is that I can legally do whatever I want to do to you. And you can do whatever you want to do to me. And no force on earth can stop us. And only one man will walk away, and the rest will be laid to waste in a random field in Alabama. Sean, do you hate me? Do you want me to go away? I want to see the darkness within you because I know you have it. Don't run from the devil, Sean. Embrace it. Do you accept? July 21st, the gauntlet is thrown down, a death pit match. What exactly does that entail? I'm not sure what a death pit match is, but I'm very glad that I wasn't challenged to one. Very ominous and morbid words from Nathan Mowry. Absolutely challenging. John Christopher to a death pit match. You that gotta wonder. A lot of things. Nathan Mowry, known for his death match wrestling, known for his vicious streak. What could be in the future in a death pit match? Whatever it is, he better make sure that he brings it with him because when Sean Christopher is this angry, he can be very dangerous as well. Introducing first. Is. Well, this is very familiar music to you, I'm sure. Oh, I love this. I love this. Was led to the ring by Harley Hay. 
Haven. One of your kids, Hayden Newton, carrying out that uh, all-out championship. It's just a reminder that I still have possession. It is time to make the wall. Way to the sure is. Technically belongs to Aaron Dallas, on paper at least. We can debate that, but that wonderful Trinity Cup trophy is in fact 100% ours. Absolutely. Speaking of family, it just might be stepdaddy season. Last guy shake. Both Caden and Harley already have a father figure. He stole a baby! Again! Every day, though, she wasn't a baby. We got one kid with a good race. That's the best thing I've ever told her. I remember the times that everyone hated it. I, I, I miss those days. Back when, you know, Rome and I were good friends. We were doing our thing, having fun. Gave it away for all this. Roma Miller is far, far superior than the, uh, than the athlete and the performer he was back then. This is a man that's main evented in unchained matches. He's taking Brandon Wiley to the limit. Roma Miller is quite established himself here. Here he is! Mushroom God! Roma Miller! This guy, Roma Miller, as you know him now. Got quite the test ahead of him today. The powerhouse of the kids of Keast. Is his drip, is the drip god's drip enough to deal with Sleazy C? Away. I get the feeling they were talking about me. I don't understand how the hometown hero, Kaden Newton, can't get a nice reception from these fans. Really? After all the years he's played football in this town. We're literally about a mile down the road from Piedmont High School. But this dude comes by and steals it. There we go. I was going to say Roman Miller could come by and steal their children. They treat him like a hero. Caden doing what he does best is throwing right hands and forearms right to the jaw and face of Roland Miller. If there's one thing I hope I never have to deal with is being hit by Caden Newton. Doesn't look like it's a lot of fun. Luckily, as the father of the kids of Keith, I don't have to. Caden just standing across the throat of Roman Miller now. Caden utilizing all of that five count. Well, he's got till five. There. Might as well use it. He knows the rules. Oh, oh no, he's got a cramp. My boy's got a cramp. Oh, not the cramp. My boy's got a cramp. Potassium. My boy's got a cramp. Roma might have had a cramp. Hey, 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 leave Harley alone. What's Harley? wrong with you? That's know. what you deserve. Caden is such a hero. He fought through that cramp to see that Harley was in peril and ran across the ring to save her. Uh-oh. My kids take care of each other. We're a family here. Stalin German. Too easy, he says. Might have taught him a little too well. 
Roma trying to fight back here. Big kick to the face. Knocked your kid, Caden. A little goofy with that one. Caught him right in the mouth. Uh oh, we've seen this oh, before. No, wait, no, come on. No one likes this. This I think isn't it's fun for anybody. It's stepdaddy season. No one enjoys this. Production's mocking me by making me watch it from different angles. Caden is up. Roma took too much time pandering. Oh, he's got him hooked now. This doesn't end well. Up and down. Tearing and force. Oh, almost had him. I thought that was it. Caden Newton almost made quick work of Roma. Maybe I'm a little biased, but I thought that was it. Uh-oh. Harley keeps the case of what's good for Oh no. Oh, is this Look at that. It's just as funny the other way around. Caden said whatever's good good for the goose is good for the gander. I, I like the move a lot better the second time. It was, I just needed more time to come around to it. I, I, I was wrong. It's over. Oh, what is this? Roma. Not Close taking him off his feet. Caden is not leaving his feet. Never mind. Swing sling blade from Roma. Has Caden reeling? Come on. No. Lung blower. Caden said enough of that. Plants him. That's it. Was there ever any doubt? Sleazy C picks up the decisive victory over Roma Miller. can be rebellious. What's that? Uh, family troubles in the kitchen piece, maybe? I don't know. Okay. All right. Yes. What's next? Kids, we're we got looking for rebellious. What's, uh, what's, what's happening next? What's happening well, next? Well, we've got quite Ladies the card left to come. At and this time. Hardy cut me off. Please welcome Dorian. Dorian picking up his first win since he lost the YouTube championship to you, Cameron. Man, seems like a lifetime ago. At Farewell Southern Avenue. Picked up his first win against the champion of champions, Damian Saratone. But at the end of the day, got his hand raised, cut his pregnant wife, significant other, whatever she is, Charlie Punk left with Damien Saratone. So really, who won? Yeah, really, uh, I really hate to see families in, uh, in disarray, you know. We're clearly still in a heightened emotional state following that. Oh, I hope he didn't plan on speaking much. Sounds like the champion of champions is here. He has something to say. There's no way Damien is happy. He is not alone. I don't think anyone's happy, actually. No one in the ring looks happy at all. And for once, I don't think it's because they're in close proximity to James Hardy. No. This is a very this situation between these. These three have become so personal and 
so malicious. But also a lot of question marks. Why is Charlie Punk all of a sudden traveling with Damien? And what's going on? Yeah, does it have anything to do with the crazy dark side of uh, Dorian that we saw last week? As somebody that's played the mind games with Dorian, tried to get to his head mentally, I've never seen that that type of animosity and that side of Dorian before. And I saw him in his dead pro day. Sorry to cut you off. We have seen in the last couple of weeks Dorian returns a more aggressive, more vicious side of Dorian. This is a man possessed, a man changed. Before there's any type of physicality, I want to point out the fact that your pregnant wife is in here. So let's keep it down. There's been a lot said recently, Dorian, and I'm not here to clear up a few things. Because everything doesn't seem to be clear to you yet. Yes. You beat me one, two, three last week. But how did we get here? That's the question. How did we get here? There's been so many things said. Some are true. So I want, to, I want to clear some things up. First of all, it was implied heavily on commentary last week that this could be my child. That was wicked. That wasn't me. I was like, hey, uh, and nothing I love you this every once in a while. Further from the truth, I promise you, that's yours. It's good to have that cleared up. Also, I don't pursue anyone. I'm not looking to go after anyone. No. Any type of pursuing, people come to me. So now I need to tell you a story, Dorian. Something really close to my heart. I looked at you a little over two months ago and I saw a shell of what you used to be. I saw that you were no longer dead pro. I saw that you were no longer the Dorian that became the YouTube champion. You were losing match after match after match after match. And then you came in here and you challenged me. And I'll be honest with you, you weren't worth it. So at the time, the only thing I could do is put you down and clear your head. And that's why I hit you with that chair. And that's why I put you out. But to tell you about you, I have to tell you about me, Dorian. I need you to understand something about me. When I was coming out here and performing for all of these people, doing the things that I thought I should be doing to come out here and be the best, I was losing in life. I promise you, none of these people, none of these people care like they say they do. I know, I know, because the last person, they can say that they love you, they can say that they care about you, they can say anything they want to, but they don't but they don't. I know, I found out personally, hell, I know deep inside my heart that the last person that ever loved me is buried somewhere in Georgia right now, and that's the truth. And we talk about that. And we talk about that. Because I came in here when I was going through the worst time of my life in here, and I came out here and performed for all of these people. I gave them everything, night after night. I gave them everything. I was the best damn wrestler here, and I knew it. And every night, I came out here and held up two championships above my head. And I did it all for them. And I was losing. I was losing what it took to be me. And I found out that I gave everything to them, but they gave nothing to me. When Marcus Eric stomped that chair into my throat, and these people were out there taking pictures with him after it happened, I found out their true colors. So I was no longer here for these people. I had to be here for the one person that no one's here for, for the one person that no one shows love for anymore. I had to be here for Damien Saraton. 
And that brings me back to you. You are focused on something that is more important than wrestling right now. And I understand that. And I understand that. But you were coming in here and you were losing. Losing. With a smile on your face, you were losing. And guess what? I'm the one that told you to break off and do your own thing. So it breaks my heart to come in and see you lose in front of these people. And then them cheer you and you think it's okay. They have nothing for you. They have nothing to offer you. So I had to make you feel like you had lost in life. I had to make you feel like you had lost everything for you to give me your best. And last week, last week, I had to make sure that every chair shot, every time you hit me with the Singapore cane, I had to make sure that everything you felt, and I had to make sure it counted. That's why I could have dipped out of this ring after you beat me down last week, and instead I came up and I held my arms open. I took your final shot. Because if there's something that you needed, it's to be reminded of who you were. And not only I knew that, she knew that. And that's why two months ago, Charlie came to me. And Charlie said, he's everything I need outside of here. But he's not half the man he used to be in this room. She saw the way that I changed for these people in front of these people. She saw that I started putting myself first and I started making things matter more. And that everything I touched afterwards turned to gold. Because even the people that these people cheer, they cheer because of me. And she saw that you needed what I had. And so she came to me. So I had to make you feel like you lost it. I had to make you feel like you had nothing else. I had to make you feel like there was nothing left for you outside of wrestling. So you would be the person that you needed to be inside this ring. So now, I'm giving you an opportunity, Dorian. I'm giving you the opportunity to be what you're supposed to be. I'm giving you the opportunity to be what you always were meant to be. I'm giving you the opportunity to be Dorian again. And just when you think you've lost everything, You've lost nothing. Damien Saratone laying out his plan for Dorian. Damien Saratone is a master of mental chess. What a very heartfelt and intense moment that was. Absolutely quite the twist here. Charlie Punk came to Damien Saratone saying Dorian lost what he had in the ring. Well, if there's anyone that's going to bring it out of him, I guess it would be Damien Saratone. But what does Damien gain from this? He just said that he's in it for Damien Saratone. I don't know exactly what, but well, I know I what Dorian's definitely gaining. The as edge. I mentioned, Damien is a The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Just last week, we saw this man, the Pro South champion, the final boss of Pro South, retained his championship in a interesting fashion, we'll call it that. By disqualification, lost the match, but held on to Big Blue. 
not the way you're used to seeing Brandon Watley retain the Making championship. Making his way to the ring. The important thing in Brandon Watley's eyes is he is still the pro South champion. End of the day, by Booker by Brooks, Brandon Watley did exactly what he said he was going to do. He walked in pro South champion, he walked out pro South champion. It's a very game, Aiden Andrews. Aiden I came back to make a statement and was seconds away from making it. I personally tried to interview Aiden Andrews for plus after falling last week. He is the Pro South Champion. He is the final boss of Pro South. He is the Serpent Assassin. Brandon Watley. As I was mentioning, I tried to interview Abe Andrews from Pro South Plus following last week's event. He had nothing to say whatsoever frustration yep. and anger just painted and over his face his how could he have anything to say he was borderline robbed you could say he definitely has an argument to still be in the title picture and here comes a man that would love to break into that title picture himself and is scratching and clawing and swinging for the fences. Making it happen. Winning at 190 pounds. He has from the apocalypse. Dark Heart Christian Pierce has Roxanne at his side. We saw how that what happens when he gets Roxanne in his hand. That bat, that baseball bat. He knows what to do with that bat, and he knows how to do damage with it. He is Pearl. the Dark Heart Christian Pierce! Pierce picking, picking up a big win against Dominic Stucky. Stucky had Roxanne in his hands, had the opportunity to bring Christian Pierce with his own bat. And chose not did to. Did not to. Did not. And did it pay off for him at all? Absolutely no, not. Absolutely Ladies and gentlemen, not. we have something to address right here tonight before this match gets underway. Shut up when I'm on this microphone. How much do you think he paid Jeremy Foster for that jacket? You know something? I am still surprised that after I've taken this beautiful woman right here, Roxanne, and I have bashed Dominic Stuckey's head in multiple times that he refuses to stay away. I have practically turned Dominic Stuckey from the hit maker to the hit taker because each and every time that we have crossed paths in this ring, Dominic Stuckey, you have fallen. All all but one time. But this, this goes back to Spring Spectacular. See, Christian Pierce, Roxanne, we don't just go around picking fights. No, 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 no. We don't pick fights. We settle scores and we make what is wrong right again. So, I've been asked multiple times, Christian, why? Why are you constantly going after Dominic Stuckey? And here is why I'm going after Dominic Stuckey. This, this goes back further than here at Pro South, ladies and gentlemen. Shut up. Shut your mouth. This goes back further than Pro South, ladies and gentlemen. You see, Dominic, you may have forgotten, son. But some years ago, you and I crossed paths at another promotion, not far from here. Not to name names, but uh, you remember what the first 
words between you and I were, Dominic? Of course you don't remember. I bashed your head in too many times. There wasn't one word spoken between us, Dominic. That's the problem. Because you see, in this business, you build yourself off of respect. You built yourself by being an honorable man like myself and Mr. Brandon Watley. But you just came in and acted like you owned the place, Dominic. But you know what? That doesn't sit right with me. So I took it upon myself to settle this score from years back. But make no mistake about it. Roxanne wasn't even a part of the plan, Dominic, but I was at my lowest. I was at my lowest. I was underneath this ring, plotting to beat the crap out of you, and then I looked to my left, and there she was. The most beautiful, curvy woman I had ever seen in my entire life. She was there when nobody else was, and you got introduced to her firsthand. So let this be a lesson you, Dominic, because rest assured, the same thing's going to happen tonight. You're going to learn to respect me. You don't have to lock me. You don't have to lock me at all, Dominic, but you will respect me. And if you don't, it's going to be PP -P Pants City around here real soon. <laughs> Well, kids, that is why you shake hands in locker rooms. Uh, if you don't, Christian Pierce will beat you with a bat. Apparently so. And introducing the opponent. Christian Pierce feeling disrespected and snubbed by Dominic Stucky. You gotta imagine Stucky is so disrespected by the multiple on, beating. Christian Pierce. Yeah. Uh, he yeah. definitely has to because this could have been a uh, uh, by offering him a shake of room, but instead he hit him with a bat. Something so trivial has caused Dominic Stucky all of this, all of this trouble. Probably permanent brain damage from bat shots. I mean, some people take that handshake real seriously, brother. Christian Pierce is one of them. He's a, he's a purist. Wrestling in his purest form. Catch as catch can. Locker room etiquette is really important. And Some introducing old his partner. Christian Pierce fancies himself fairly old school. Hey, 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 keep it back. Keep it back. I know this man right here, Aiden Andrews, is one who couldn't give two craps less about locker room etiquette right now. He's more worried about Big Blue. As he should be, and Brandon Watley. This is an interesting situation we have where uh, not since the days of the Greenhorn Militia has Brandon Watley really been anyone to align himself with this anybody. He's not so much Aiden. a leader, he's very much a And Christian Pierce only trusts uh, a bat. Christian Pierce only counts Roxanne as his only friend. Brandon Watley. Brandon Watley does not need friends. He does not care about them. I'd or be want surprised them. if he if he even knows Christian Pierce's name. I'd be shocked. Well, I can guarantee you that Christian Pierce does not know Brandon Watley's catchphrase. He's lucky. Oh, Aiden wasting no time. Aiden going up and over. There's your handshake. Stucky and Aiden. That's Stucky and Andrews. Wasting like, no time going like after. I'd like to Santiago will not start this match with a bat in the ring. Oh, Aiden got Andrews one and in. Dominic Stucky were not going to waste time. This match is underway. Starting it off with Pierce and Andrews. Oh, what a shot. 
shot. Andrews just laying it in. I have to wonder if Christian Pierce shook Aiden Andrews' hand beforehand. I'm sure he's going to shake it before it's over with. a one count. Christian Pierce can stop counting the stars circling his head. He needs to get back to his corner. There he goes. Back on top pretty quickly. Big vertical suplex. See Brandon Watley slowly making it back to the corner. Barely got a one count on Aiden. We mentioned how Sean Christopher is notorious about not staying down. Aiden Andrews very much like that himself. Uh-oh. Ushi Garoshi. Looks like he might be setting him up for that stamp of approval. Oh, Watley with the interception, though. Christian Pierce rolled out. Brandon Watley knows that that makes a tag. It's a legal tag here in Pro South. Under Pro South tag team moves. mentioned he's not much of a tag guy these days he's a loner but Brandon Watley has been here a long time he knows the rules he knows how the tag match rules work here now just teeing off on the midsection of Aiden Andrews Aiden is trapped in enemy territory right now it's a bad place to be Dominic Stuckey's not making it any better for him It's like he was trying to alert the ref of what was going on, but in the, in the process, distracting him further. I was taking a hot shot at Stucky before he drives two knees right into the chest of Aiden Andrews. Big knee. Hey, sometimes the knee's enough to put him down. This was not one of those times. Aiden Almost Andrews there. kicking out strong at two, but still looking like he's got no clue where he's at following that huge knee. You could tell that was the case. He crawled to the wrong side. Aiden Andrews needs to, he needs to figure out where he is in the ring. Thudding chop from the dark heart. At the very least, he needs to get out of this corner. This ring is cut off. Oh. Pierce putting on the brakes. He made a crucial mistake there, not going towards his partner for the tag. There he goes. Making it out of the ring, that does make a tag. Dominic Stuckey's in. Stuckey taking shots at everybody, including the Pro South champion. Time for a ripcord. Christian Pierce also rolling out. Watch out. Telling Santiago to watch out now. What does he got in mind here? Oh, he was not expecting Watley on the outside. Tried for that running knee off the apron again. Tried it once, tried it a second time, and he caught the Serpent Assassin. Aiden Andrews trying to come to help his partner. No, he gets shut down for it. Ridiculously dangerous feat of Brandon Watley. This puts him in a vulnerable state. Dominic Stuckey freshly injured and now rolled into the ring. And Aiden Andrews is not quite back to his corner. Stuckey's been on the receiving end of quite a lot of head trauma of late. Taking the heavy hands of post out champion Brandon Watley is definitely not going to make that any better for him. It's not, and even if Dominic can make it to Aiden, it has enough damage been done to Aiden at this point. Because the beating they put on Aiden Andrews was heavy. And what's coming for Dom Stuckey right now will probably not be any different. Big stomp to the face. 
showing the veteran instinct here of Brandon Wiley and Christian Pierce. Never tagged before, but you wouldn't know it by looking at it now. They are working perfectly as a team, cutting the ring off and taking down both opponents. They've got this match firmly in their grasp. Becky's fighting back. Oh, taking that leg out from under him. A rolling into a single leg crab. Nice maneuver there by Pierce. Getting the half crab in. Aiden Andrews trying to get the pro south face with behind Dominic Stuckey. Trying to will him. Will him back up to his feet. Trying to get out of that half crab. He rolls out. On one leg almost. Drives him down into the mat. But when he slams uh, Pierce down, he slammed down in between himself and Aiden Andrews. And he fell back away from his own corner. He's got a long way to go. Pierce makes his tag, as does Dominic Stuckey. Here we go. Last week all over again, Aiden Andrews and Brandon Watley. Big combo from Aiden Andrews. Neither has forgotten that last week settled nothing. Up and over. We saw the combo. There's the side of fries. Oh, sprung. Got caught into the snapdragon. Big knee. Sometimes the knee's enough. Is it going to be this time? It's not. You're someone who knows a thing or two about throwing knees. Runs right into a discus clothesline. With the interception there. Cutting him off. He's, un he's unwrapping the elbow. Uh-oh. Pulling off tape. Means Bullhammer. He's got Bullhammer on the mind. That bionic elbow. Oh, no one home. Passed it by. Rodney eats a super kick of his own. Stamp of approval! Dog pile on the cover. That is it! No one is in with quite a show. Home Raven Andrews and Dominic Stucky! I don't think anything was settled. But momentum has been picked up and a statement has been made by both Dom Stuckey and Aiden Andrews. Stuckey got a minor uh, piece of revenge against Christian Pierce, but you gotta think this isn't anywhere close to being over. All this was was a reminder. And I know Aiden Andrews, until he gets big blue in his hands, it will not be over. Dom, it won't be over for him until he's standing over the unconscious body of Christian Pierce. Absolutely. The statement has been made. Aiden Andrews still has big blue in his sights. This won't set well with Watley. No, I absolutely will not. But as we just saw, Brandon Watley still walking around with big blue. Still the Pro South champion. You can see the look on Pierce's face. He knows what he started. He knows that this is not over. Aiden Andrews standing tall, boasting. Clear, Aiden still has one thing on his mind. That's Pro South Championship. In his eyes, he still has a claim to be Pro South Champion. He has unfinished business from when he was Pro South Champion. Title he never lost. You can Ladies say, and gentlemen, this time we're taking a 15 minute intermission. Well, we still got more to come.
are back. Part two. It's the gold rush. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first. The gold rush match will be our main event. Until then, we've still got more to come. More of your kids, Cameron. You never get enough of the kids at Keys. Well, we saw Sleazy C, Kate Newton, pick up a big victory. Convincing fashion. Will, his partner, your other kid, born again Christian Garrett, will he pick up another big win? Make it the ring. Being a coffee by Harley Raven. He is one third of the 2023 Trinity Challenge Cup winners. Representing the kids of Keys, born again, Christian Garrett. So he made me wait 45 seconds to finish the introduction for my kid in the most melancholy voice ever. Who hired this man? Apparently he objected to calling him the all-out champion, and despite the opponent. fact he's got the all-out championship in his hands. And his opponent here tonight is on paper the all-out champion. Yeah, sure, paper's paper, but who has physical possession of the belt? Well, he did get back a couple of those titles. So he didn't get back the all out championship, did he? He got the random torture title. He is the real unified all out champion. Up to him he is the your blue collar, the collecting rock star. Yeah. Hey, don't knock over our trophy. Jerk. This is it, and a rock star. Now, I, I'm not an idiot, Matthias. I'm aware that Aaron Dallas is the unified all-out champion, okay? But it's mind game. Because I too am a master of that. And it shows. Because I've got what I wanted, and that's Aaron Dallas' attention. So you definitely have it. Aaron Dallas. Quickly approaching your record as the second longest reigning all-out champion of all time. You yourself are sitting at 308 days. Aaron Dallas is at 294 right now. What you're telling me is I'm running out of time. He's reminding him of uh, him being a referee last week. Unlike his brother, his brother was not a referee last week. Well, not a Tragic Prince Rules match. Not in that match. Somebody made sure of that. Yeah. See, Garrett, Garrett's the big, the big kid. You know, he's the big kid at Keys. He, he looks out for the other two. He's not going to let his family get disrespected like that. Big shots from Aaron Dallas. I'm also aware 
of how good Aaron Dallas is. And if there's anyone that could, and maybe even should, beat my record as second longest reigning champion, yeah, it should be Aaron Dallas. But I'm not going to let him sit here and just pass me without any actual work. He's been running around being buddy-buddy with Ace and Sean for the past three or four months. Just letting his letting his reign just count, just count and just stack up days. He absolutely has spent more time chasing that Trinity Challenge Cup than he did defending the All Out Championship. You've already taken the Trinity Challenge Cup, and that's my point. Defeated the Fellowship to become Trinity Challenge Cup winners. So if he's going to get this close to my record. He's going to have to put in the same amount of work I did. Or at the very least, go through me to beat my record. But that's if he can get past Garrett. Because right now, it's not looking too good for him. Dallas, oh, running chop. Dallas had a strong start, but right now, it's all Christian Garrett. Kick straight to the face. Putting the elbow across the chin. Just as good as hooking the leg. Nice strategy. Hold the arm so he couldn't grab the rope. And put that elbow across the chin. As you mentioned. I say this every time you guys let me come on commentary. Look how far Christian Garrett has come. Absolutely. Since becoming born again. Absolutely. From the perennial journeyman, the guy who is just a body, someone who has definitely made his mark on Pro South. Oh, a good top of his own. That just echoed throughout the palace. Garrett with his own big shot. Stopped it's not him. about sound, it's about how effective it was. Stopped him dead in his tracks with an elbow right to the jaw. Dallas returning the favor. Big suplex with the bridge. Only a two though. Come on, Garrett. Come on. Oh. Christian Garrett with the cross chop right to the throat. Every time Dallas tries to get something going, Christian Garrett just shuts him right back down. He looks for his moment and he exploits it. You can see my influence. Every time Garrett is given an inch, he's going to get a mile out of it. I don't know what the rest problem is here. Aaron Dallas hit him firing out of the corner. Come on, Garrett, fight back. Dallas, oh, there we go. Telegraph that one. Take advantage, take advantage. Oh. Come on, Garrett. No! Oh, big spine buster from Aaron Dallas. The jackknife kick out, Garrett. Two count. That one was a little close. Aaron Dallas looking frustrated, though. Hasn't been able to put Christian Garrett away. Isn't having the best of time against him. Oh, big German. Count so big, he used both hands, still getting a kick out. That count is four if he used both hands. That's a good. What do we have here? Oh, uh -oh. looking a little like sleazy. The kids have been prepared. Hey, Matthias, let me go on record and say I know absolutely nothing about this. You can believe it, you can choose not to, but I. Oh! Douglas Sanders, the fabulous one. The dope pusher. What is, why is that all the Steel toe! In Kid McGee's business. Two, three, three. Okay. You're the match. Aaron. Aaron Dallas. Douglas Sanders.
Douglas Sanders just neutralized Sleazy C, Kate Newton. Allowing Aaron Dallas to pick up the victory. Oh, Caden, or Cameron, Cameron Keys just left the commentation station to return the favor. Uh oh. He's got his eyes on Aaron Dallas now. Steel show, oh! He hit Harley! He hit Harley! But Cameron, he's got the all-out championship. Aaron Dallas just laid out Harley Haven with the steel toe. Meanwhile, Cameron Keys. Cameron Keys took the all-out championship and ran. Harley. In a bad way. Trying to pick herself back up. Aaron Dallas leaving without his all-out championship. I'm all alone here at the commentation station now. It's a piece. Trying to oh. Trying to pick up the pieces of Harley Haven. Harley being carried out now. Another case. Winning the battle, but perhaps not the war. Aaron Dallas picking up the victory, but still no all-out championship for all his troubles. I don't know. We still got... Oh, wait. Are we going to hear from the King of the South? Are we going to hear from the Queen of the South? Be surprised if we hear from the king. Following that horrific beating we saw Ace Haven take last week. There she is, the commissioner, Amy Haven, the queen of the South. get an update on Ace Haven, what kind of shape he's in. get an update on the status of Ace Haven. It seems like we're going to hear from the man who has crowned himself and forced Amy to crown him the new King of the South, Donnie Primetime. Donnie Primetime, Hollywood, Donnie Primetime, the new king, he says. He's got a steel chair in hand. Amy has security with her, protect her. You gotta wonder why does Donnie have this steel chair? What does he have in mind? South faithful, not happy to see Donnie Primetime in the ring, especially not happy to see him wearing that crown. Who would have thought that this is where we would be? I 
I know you came out here to give us an update on eight health, Amy. So, so, not to interrupt you, but I'm on the flyer. I have a coronation. You're absolutely right. There's not nothing with coronation without a jester. That's why we have Jamie in the ring. So, I did come out here already crowned, but I'm gonna do you since you want to be in the ring, you geek. I'm gonna do you a favor right now. Pick that crown up and put it on my head, Jamie. Jamie, if I'm, I'm gonna ask you again, man, I don't know you like that, but I'm gonna tell you. No one else in this audience is gonna let you know, Jamie, but the smart option is gonna be to pick up that crown and put it on my head. I kind of have to agree with Donnie on this one. Doesn't end well for Jamie if he doesn't. There ain't no, I'm not the king. Jamie's saying he's not the king. This is awkward, but, oh, pardon. Jamie, we can't do business. You're a, you're a man, you're an honorable man. So you, you got a job to do, Jamie. I've got a promo to cut. I've got stuff to do. I'm busy, so do your job and please. Escort this woman to safety. Thank you, Jane. Oh! Well, the head of security is not the head of much anymore. No, 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 Amy, you don't get to get away from me that easy. No, 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 Amy, don't, don't run, Amy. Don't run, it's not gonna end, okay. You still moving, James? Jamie, you okay? Oh, he's hooking him. Jamie might be going for a ride. A lot of dead weight. Oh! Pro South head of security, Jamie Martin. Busted wide open. Just got dropped on his head. Amy Haven is in a dangerous spot. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, you don't touch him. You don't touch him. Zebra control. You don't touch him. I'm not done. Hey, you. But Amy, you think, oh, you think I'm a, a little on edge right now. Let me tell you, Amy, let me tell you, I haven't seen it. Huh? Huh? You know that, right? Ace can't save you in. You're here. Let you be here. Don't you forget it. Long live the king. Long live the king, says Donnie Primetime. Donnie continues his chaotic streak of just brutality and violence. The second week in a row, he has drawn blood in a pro south ring. Getting in the face of Amy Haven. Jamie, our head of security, having to be carried out. Meanwhile, the commissioner, the queen of the south, Amy Haven, looking shocked and traumatized in the corner. We are been quite the scene we just witnessed. Donnie Primetime has spent weeks and weeks laying out, brutalizing anyone and everyone attached to Ace Haven. And we saw last week, 
he brutally attacked, beat Ace Haven during that match until the ref had to stop it. They had Adam Mercy just stop the match. And here tonight we see Jamie, our head of security, dropped, hit in the head, with head split open with that steel chair. It's gonna be hard to shift gears here, but shift here, shift gears we must, because coming up next is our main event. The event that this tonight's live event is named after, and uh oh, I'm being joined on commentary by the final boss, the Pro South champion Brandon Watley. I fitting, Brandon. It is fitting that you would be here for this match, the Gold Rush. Because the winner of this match, ladies and gentlemen, thank you, James. I was explaining that. It is time for your main event of the evening. <laughs> I'll let James. And it is the Gold Rush Ladder He has that contract in hand. Well, I say he could be they. It might be Amethyst. You see this the man. First competitor or the first victim. Chris Kamikaze. Flanked by his chief of staff. It's all right. Kamikaze. His first match back. The future mayor of Piedmont, Alabama, Chris Kamikaze, he has my vote. What? If somehow, somewhere, the future mayor doesn't have my vote, I'm taking a phone call to the future. You tell us where I howl and yell and black my house in the world. This is his first match back following that concussion suffered at the hands of Aiden Andrews, the man you went one on one with last week in a matter of pride, the man you faced down earlier tonight in that tag team match. What shape will Kamikaze be in? Can he take home that gold rush? Let's hope that Kamikaze is 100%. The concussions are absolutely stuck in the place. I never had a concussion in my life. I don't know what it's like, but for my time in professional also playing sports, growing up in high school and high school, I have seen different concussions. And it's different depending on how severe it is. I see people cover in a matter of weeks, days, some people it took months. Amakazi, he, he is dressed to wrestle. He is ready to give it his shot. And let's hope he's in at 100% because he's got quite the competition ahead of him, including this man who has made quite the name for himself here at Pro South, KJ Impala. The future of professional wrestling, a standout out of the nightmare family. And he's making waves over there in the state of Georgia, being one of the fastest rising stars in the South. KJ Impala, 6'2, 235 pounds. This man is solid as a brick wall. He's not in there alone. 
Now, this is no normal match. This is the ladder match. One of the most dangerous matches in professional wrestling. The people are behind KJ. He got size, he got speed, he got ability, but he has the people behind him. Would you look at it? This is a man you know a thing or two about. Super, superstar Jay Lucas. You and he have gone back and forth many a time. Well, chances, I've got you here. What's your thoughts on ra maintaining and holding on to that Pro South Championship, knowing that whoever wins this match is going to have the opportunity to cash in at any point in time, that at no point will you be safe so long as they have that Gold Rush briefcase? Well, Matthias. I spent the past year and a half establishing myself as the most dangerous individual on this planet. I was just hoping for the sake of the world to win If they dare to cash in, I'll admit I'll have to be on my feet. But I have full confidence in my ability and the brutality that I will unleash on that person. It is now in the audacity to have him on the street. Here we are with the game master and the enemy. It's still the building. To say the least, we saw you and her go back and forth a few weeks ago. Everything you seem to throw at her, she take it and ask for more. He ended up having to kick her, what was it, 60, 70 times in the face? She thought was joking, but she was laughing. I had to give her something to not laugh about. If she wins this match, she dares to cash in on me. The result will be the same. Memphis, we've seen, has been on it. A mission has been dead set to become the second ever female Pro South champion. We gotta wonder if she gets a hold of that gold rush, will the gold, will the game master be able to one up the final boss? Uh, the following contest is the Gold Rush Ladder Match. Introducing first, to my left, being accompanied by, he says he ain't wrong, so right, he is Chris Kamikaze. Future mayor right there, put some respect on this. And introducing next, to my right, he is one half of the kimonos. This is K.J. Impala! <laughs> also introducing to my left, representing top team, he is the superstar, J. It's definitely a fan favorite here. And introducing also to my right, she is the game master, Amethyst! 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 
DJ Empower, Ray Lucas, all high favorites. But you cannot underestimate Chris Kamikaze. But tonight, there can only be one. Oh, Kamikaze running his mouth. Didn't quite want anything with the Game Master. Three boots for the anomaly, Chris Kamikaze. Amethyst just throwing those chops. Pump kick, KJ Impala. And one for Lucas. You know what I like about Amethyst? She ain't scared of nobody. She absolutely is not. Second generation wrestler. Ready to throw down with anybody and everybody who gets in front of her. Toss to the outside, though. That could potentially be the advantage that Amethyst has is her being a second-generation wrestler from both parents because, well, she's been sent under the learning tree for God knows how long. So there is all the studying, all the training. Wolf training comes with different scenarios. Absolutely. KJ Impala sent over the top rope. I saw All right, get, get involved. There's no disqualification. There's nothing the referees can do about it's it. It's a ladder match. Can't disqualify him. And there's, there's Chris Kamikaze's truck. Oh! oh! Everybody except for Kamikaze goes down. Kamikaze is getting a ladder. Figure, yeah, he's trying to end this right now. Figures that the man named Kamikaze is the only one who didn't crash and burn. Kamikaze, the future mayor of Piedmont. He dodged that missile known as Jay Lucas coming in hot. It, they're fighting on the outside. No, nobody sees him trying. Uh, Kamikaze's about to get the briefcase. KJ Impala face first into the ring post. Oh, Jay Lucas. Jay Lucas finally realized what Kamikaze was doing. Put on the brakes. Has there ever been a one-on-one -on -one match between Jay Lucas and Chris Kamikaze? I would have to go back and check the records. I don't believe so. I'm not going to give you any ideas, but whoever's listening, you got one job. Oh. Big knife edge chop from the anomaly. And Jay Lucas turns around on him. Chops and forearms from Jay Lucas. Uh oh. Uh oh. Watch this. This doesn't end well. Slingshot right into the ladder. Oh, God. Drop kick. Exactly. Now get the ladder in. Oh, that. oh, he's in a bad spot now. But KJ Impala and Amethyst lighten up on Chris Kamikaze. Now they're going to double team. Now they eliminated him out of the equation, but he, he's going to climb the ladder. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Equal right, equal fight. Um, we mentioned Amethyst isn't afraid to go go at it with whoever's in front of her. Neither is KJ Impala. I, I, I'm here for it. Because, look, before the Unchained situation, well, leading up to that, there was, like, different individuals was, like, afraid to enter because they're a man and she's a woman. It's like, no. no. 
No. She, Once you she get that equal opportunity, she could get an equal butt whoop. Once you get in the ring, it, the man and woman doesn't matter. You, one's a ref, one's a wrestler, the other's a wrestler. Exactly. Gender don't, don't matter over here. Oh. Oh. Hip attack with the ladder. That had to have hurt. On KJ and Paula. Man's got a granite hip bone apparently. Okay, I, he's I don't tall, think. But I don't think that ladder is tall enough. I don't think that ladder's gonna do it. I mean, the only way that would work is if he's Shaquille O'Neal. But and Jay Lucas stops him. You mentioned KJ and Paula is six foot three, two thirty five. I don't know that six foot three is quite enough for a ladder that size. Oh! oh! Lucas sends him flying into the ladder. By God, he's got a family. Well, more like a mom and dad. I don't know if he got kids, but by God, he, he comes from a family. I'm pretty sure his mom is expecting him this weekend. Well, after the weekend. I wonder what if kind of shape that. Make it. I wonder what kind of shape that ladder's in now. Uh oh. <laughs> Drops him down hard. Kamikaze back in. I don't think anybody's gonna get anywhere with that ladder. Like Jay Lucas and KJ and Paula, they're the tallest guys in in this match. Well, KJ being 6'2", 6 6'3", 6 and, and Jay Lucas being the height of a college wide receiver. They're still going to need the taller ladder, what does Kamikaze have in mind? Whatever KJ had planned, that, that fire. But Kamikaze's got that ladder set up. I don't know what he's got planned here. Whatever it is, reverse on Still four from Kamikaze. AJ with the attack on Amethyst. Now Kamikaze's getting some. Yeah, put put her through the last. Uh-oh. Yeah! Oh! Yes! Yes! Big suplex yes! right onto that ladder. Yes! I'm here for the brutality. Yes! That was superb. <laughs> the serpent assassin Brandon Watley was right next to me is beside himself. Wait. Enjoying the brutality. Oh. Whatever Tried for a slingshot. Had, didn't quite work. Yeah, whatever they had planned, that backfired. Oh. Now Kamikaze is just picking it up and whacking people. You mean if, AJ? Kamikaze got whacked. Yeah, that's what I meant. We'll go with that. Sometimes even the best laid plans don't go the way they're meant to, but when in doubt, resort to violence. Yep. Violence solves everything. I'm all for violence, but... I'm not sure if I want to see a repeat on that one ladder match in 2006 where the one guy got his nose broken. I ain't going to call the names for the popular Uh-oh. Uh, we're getting into dangerous territory now. Kamikaze's up on top. Both Jay Lucas and Amethyst trying to pull him off. Incoming KJ. We got Impala coming in. Oh boy. Oh! Tower of Doom. Everybody's down. Everybody's down. KJ Impala still trying to shake out the cobwebs. He needs to get a ladder. There, there's only one maybe, ladder in the ring, and that was too small. Maybe not that yellow one. It's uh, it might be in a little rough shape following Amethyst getting slammed onto it. He's got to do that one's too short too. Oh, that ain't gonna work. I ain't, 
I ain't gonna tell nobody. Y'all kill each other and find out the hard way that she could. I mean, unless you plan on standing at the very tip top, maybe he has excellent balance. Let's find out. We've seen some ladders take some punishment here at Pro South. I don't know how many of them can hold that weight. Yeah, Jay Lucas will fall. Uh, oh! First a kick to the back of both guys. And then drops some head first on his knee. I think he was going for the brain buster on the knee. Turned more into almost a modified Ushigoroshi neck breaker across the knee. Jay Lucas understanding that he needs a bigger lap. Uh oh. Hey, he already. What's he got playing here? He's already damaged. What do you got playing? Building up a head of steam here. See what I want to build up a little more. See what happens when you're trained by AR Fox. You're always trying to do cool stuff instead of trying to win the match. No shade of AR Fox, all shade of Jay Lucas. He had one job. Uh oh. Amethyst is slammed on the ladder. Maverick Salt, baby! Maverick Salt. Oh! Excellent! Excellent! Kazi with the Maverick Salt. Excellent! Saw right getting the ladder for him. The Maverick. The anomaly, Chris Kamikaze. This was busted! Oh, it's too small! Forget it being busted, it's too small. Sal Wright is going to be the trump card of this man. Kamikaze's got the right idea at least. Get the big one. Kamikaze making the climb. The Nobody's there to stop him. The, the future mayor of Pro South. As I say, here comes Jay Lucas. Oh, they're knocking out the projector. Don't go for the projector, go for the briefcase. The referee's trying to compete trying to protect the competitors. Oh God, oh God, oh! Jesus. Kamikaze crashing and burning. It might have broken the ladder. They knocked the projector out of place. Don't break the ladder, break each other. Don't, don't break the projector. Hey, the Kamikaze. Trying to get back up. We just seen the referee help Amethyst back. I'm, look, I'm, I'm, I'm telling y'all, this is the most dangerous match in professional wrestling, the ladder match. Oh, so slam off the ladder. Okay, Kate. KJ pitching his balance. Referee Santiago is back. This might be seeking medical attention now. We got Kamikaze and Lucas fighting at the top. Who, who, who's going to get the? That's the projector. Don't knock the projector over. We need. It's all right, to trying to. Trying to. Wait, Kate, Kate, wait, it's two over. Okay. KJ and KJ Jay Lucas. Lucas got the oh, they they're jumped down. The briefcase. Oh! They fumbled the case. Chris Kamikaze came up with it. Winner of the match in 2023, Gold Rush winner, Chris Kamikaze. For those of you that don't understand what just happened, you climb the ladder to get possession of whatever you have to hit to win the match, but you also have to make it on the ground with it. The men fumbled the briefcase. Whoever grabs the briefcase is the winner, and that is Kamikaze. Both Kamikaze and Lucas had it, but neither had possession. And when they slammed to the ground, Kamikaze 
managed to get a hold of the briefcase. At which point he was declared the winner. I told you sound right, we're going to the front car from this match. Alright, perhaps the MVP of this match. Everybody laid it all over the line. This Kamikaze, your gold rush winner. This man has made quite the waves here since he debuted at Pro South. Four, four competitors of brutality. Kamikaze is the winner. Damages what you see like the victim because she has to jump down. We've seen that gold rush make the careers of several people here at Pro South. Will that happen for this Kamikaze? We'll find out. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Matthias Darkthorn for our champion, Brandon Watley. Thank you for joining us. We will see you here next week, each and every Friday. Thank you. We'll see you later.